Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here at the fabulous Biltmore Hotel in Coral Gables, Florida, with Philippe Paradis, who's Vice President of Sales and Marketing. We're going to talk a little bit about the Biltmore, its uh, relationship to the surrounding community of uh, Coral Gables in Miami, as well as how you can best experience this wonderful property, which has so much history. And this is Insider Travel Report. Let's talk about the location. I mean, this is a fabulous building in the center of a really historic community of Coral Gables. Uh, how does that work? How does the Biltmore work with, with the surrounding community? Well, very well. As you said, I mean, the location is very centrally located in Miami itself. So we're only 10 minutes south from the Miami International Airport. Uh, and actually, surprisingly, the community here of Coral Gable is so actually peaceful, uh, being so close to an airport. Uh, and uh, we provide really a very uh, unique experience in, in Miami. Um, Coral Gable is a little bit considered as a little bit very little south of Miami. And, uh, uh, I was actually surprised. I, have, I had not been to Coral Gable until I stay, I'm staying with you. Yeah. And, and and I'm shocked at how much there is to do in Coral Gables and it's its own little community in itself and it's not just there are some beautiful houses all around you but there's also a central downtown with dining and great options right absolutely and I think actually we offer as I said a very unique experience of Miami in comparison to what people expect from Miami in general um, within Coral Gables I mean it's a fantastic actually culinary scene tons of restaurants uh, fantastic shopping experience as well between downtown Coral Gables or the village of Merrick Park, which is a very nice open hair luxury shopping center as well, We're only five minutes away from the property. Um, you, if you want to discover architecture, if you want to discover different communities, Coral Gable is the perfect base because you're pretty much 10-15 minutes away from all the main point of attra attractions of Miami. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're five minutes away from Little Havana, for example. Um, and um, just actually walking around, you have the opportunity, it's a very safe destination. Uh, you can take bicycles, you can walk around, you can really discover a fantastic environment very quickly without going to the other parts of Miami. Now further actually than just Coral Gables, very quickly you can have access to downtown, to Coconut Grove, to Wynwood, which is obviously the big now attraction of Miami with the, all the uh, new cultural aspect of Wynwood and the Wynwood walls. And um, so uh, it really becomes uh, the main point of attraction for Miami at this point. And obviously with the trend in Miami is changing uh, from the traditional experience in South Beach, I think a lot of people now really try to discover the destination, first because they've been here for so many years. Uh, uh, and they want to see something different. And I think also just because Miami has changed and a lot of different small destinations like ours uh, have uh, emerged I mean, with, the, with the years and the, with the development of Miami and with those cultural aspects and artistic uh, scene. Well, such as Art Basel you have coming in every year. Obviously right? Art Basel has been a big boost for the destination and has, has really changed Miami as a destination, not only uh, with, uh, with Wynwood and uh, the design district, but also the emergence now of new museums downtown, I mean the Perez Museum, the new museum, uh, Science Museum, uh, Frost Museum. We have also obviously, I mean over the years, the new uh, Symphony downtown uh, in, in Miami Beach. We do have also uh, the Performing Arts Center and have all the operas uh, from the world actually are coming to Miami. So I think you really give a consistency to the destination in terms of culture and art that Miami didn't have maybe 15 years ago. And all this helps obviously because of opposition here at the Biltmore, where we we uh, can provide obviously an easy access to all this scene. Yeah, well, and also you can, it's a great w place to experience pre and post cruise. Uh, to experience Miami itself is to come here after you've done a upscale cruise and get more upscale here, right? Absolutely. Well, once again, we are also 10, 15 minutes away from the port of Miami. So uh, after uh, having a wonderful cruise, you can definitely discover Miami as a destination being based here and enjoy obviously all the things we have to offer at the hotel. I mean, the hotel is also a good base just by staying here, relaxing and and enjoying obviously all our outlets and our pool or golf, tennis, uh, fitness center, uh, and uh, and obviously just relax by the pool as well. So it's yeah. um, well. The other big thing about here is the history of the place. And how how would you suggest that guests really experience this history, other than just moving from these old black and white photos that you go? They're like, wow, this this person was here, and uh, you can literally go down the hallways and find such amazing things. So how how can they best experience this history? Well, I think it's taking a moment also to. Appreciate 
appreciate um, all the architectural details because, I mean, through our architecture, I think you can see the history of the place as well. Mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned, I think when we did the restoration and the renovation over the past two years of the property, we maintain uh, and we kept all the uh, original photos that we had in this property in all the corridors and everywhere. And uh, what we did is actually to, through the legends that we have on it photo, they tell the story of what happened in this property. And you really kept, I think, the, the soul of what happened in the Biltmore. And so it's, I think, very important for people who come here to see, I mean, the, this aspect, because obviously Miami is a young destination. And, uh, and we offer something which is really unique in Miami on that aspect. Yeah, we're also just lying in the pool, which is a historic pool, and remembering all the people that must have done the same, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, and once again, I mean, just at the entrance of the pool, we have this huge photo showing, uh, I mean, the shows that we used to have at the, at the time in the 30s, for example, with uh, uh, I mean, synchronic swimming and diving contests and pageant contests and all these type of things. And you can really lay down by the pool and kind of imagine this scene, actually, a few years back. Uh, and uh, I think it makes it really special when you stay at the Biltmore. And also, you also can uh, organize a stay, not beyond the history, but to maybe like with wellness, maybe with multi-generational, uh, a lot of different themes that you could organize for people, right? Absolutely. Um, I think we, we've, I mean, even though, I mean, we are obviously a historic landmark resort in Miami, we followed the trends in luxury travel. And the one thing which is very important for the people coming to the Biltmore is to still have uh, an healthy living. So we have developed a very extensive wellness program at the Biltmore, including uh, um, I mean, a new fitness center, obviously new spa uh, that we uh, did during the renovation, but also expanded more than 100 classes of fitness on a weekly basis, complimentary for the guests of the hotel. Uh, we expanded also our menus in the Fontana restaurants, for example, with healthy options. Uh, the spa provides also a lot of rituals based on sea salt and uh, uh, algaes and all these kind of, uh, of specific treatments uh, linked to the to our wellness program as well. And I think it's important for people to know that uh, even though, I mean, culinary is obviously one of our expertise but uh, they can also find um, healthy options when they travel to the Biltmore. Uh, you were talking about multi-generational also travel it's very important for us because obviously uh, we've seen a lot of our clients we have a lot of repeat clients and they came when they were younger as a couple then they came back with their family when they got married and got kids now they come back because actually their grandparents said they bring the rest of the, the, the family with them so it's it's very nice for us to see this multi-generational travel coming back to the Biltmore where really people come here to enjoy as a family I mean a lot of hotels have kids clubs and all these type of things um, and and we realized actually very early on that for us I mean people have a different purpose when they come here they don't want just to leave actually the children and the kids club and do their own thing they really want to enjoy as a family all the things we have to offer on property and I think that's something we we, we try to cultivate with the culinary academy for example where we propose classes for families together um, and we include pastry uh, classes for children and the parents can jump in uh, so we try to to work on this type of, uh, of activities for them uh, and I think it's important for family to come back to us well Philippe anything else you'd like to tell travel advisors about how to best experience uh, the Biltmore for their clients well, uh, I think we touched on most of the different points. I think the, the Biltmore, as I said, for, provides still nowadays a unique experience in Miami um, because of uh, who we are in terms of history, in terms of design, in terms of location, uh, but also in terms of the, our philosophy overall, in terms of authenticity that we provide and the service we provide on property. Uh, we, I like to say that we're very European, so we really offer a Mediterranean getaway uh, for the American clientele and uh, as I said we have uh, uh, traditional English tea we have uh, uh, Italian restaurant French restaurants we have uh, I mean a lot of kind of things that you don't find anywhere else and uh, I think it's interesting to come to the build more and have a really different experience of Miami well, Philippe, thank you for taking the time to tell us more about the Biltmore. We did an earlier interview, you may have seen, about the physical plant. Uh, and now, after a wonderful stay, I want to thank you for that stay. It was an amazing stay. Uh, you got great culinary. It's wonderful to just lie out by the pool and remember all the things that must have gone on here since the 1920s. And again, thanks so much. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me, James. It was a pleasure to welcome you. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.